Hey guys, it's Sunshine from Sunshine's Journey here on YouTube and also on Instagram. I used to weigh 391 pounds and I have so far lost almost 150 pounds naturally. Just yesterday I weighed in at 242.2 pounds, which is my lowest weight as an adult in over 20 years since I was a teenager um, and I just turned 39 on December 23rd. So I wanted to make a video to let you guys know that if I can do it, I promise you that you guys can too. I know a lot of you are looking at 2017 as the year that you're finally going to do something about your weight and your health and getting healthy, and um, I want you to do that. I want you to succeed, um, and I want to hit my goals too. So I thought that I would share with you guys 10 tips that have helped me lose almost 150 pounds naturally, um, and hopefully this will help you guys in 2017. So tip number one is going to be use what you have. Maybe you can afford a gym membership, um, you know, afford to go to Zumba classes, CrossFit classes, um, you know, things like that. That's great. If you can't, just start walking. That's literally all you need to do is walk for 60 minutes every day. If that's the, the, the very least that you can do, do it. It's better than sitting um, at your house. It's better than doing what you have been doing so far. Um, you can walk. I used to use, and I still use, free dance um, and workout videos on YouTube. There's free yoga videos on YouTube. Um, there's lots of free ways for you guys to, to get some exercise in. So I I encourage you to use what you have. That's a big, big tip. Um, number two, you don't need a partner. Um, you absolutely can have a workout port partner. Don't get me wrong. That works for some people, the accountability and things like that. I personally, I'm more of what I call a lone wolf when it comes to the gym. Um, I don't like to go work out with someone else. It's distracting to me. I don't work as hard as I you know, would if I'm there by myself. Um, and it can be an excuse. you know, if, if your workout partner cancels on you, you might use that as a reason to not go to the gym yourself. So I want you guys to know that you don't need a partner. You just need yourself. You need to self-motivate um, and, and count on yourself. Um, my tip number three is to find a workout that really challenges you. Um, for so long, I was just cardio, cardio, cardio on the treadmill, and I was like, you know, I really could be doing more, and I have done more in the past, and I realized that I had to step it up and, and do something different, and, um, you know, these workouts, I'm, I'm working out at Orange Theory now, and, and I get that no one, you know, not everyone can afford that and, and things like that. I'm, I'm not saying you have to go to Orange Theory, um, but find a workout out whatever that is that's going to challenge you because not only is it obviously going to be ready or better for your health in the long run um, but it also helps me keep me on track with my food and my eating which is my big big problem um, historically I can work out I can drag myself to the gym um, but it's struggling with my food issues that are um, the bigger issue and, and the bigger obstacle that I've had to overcome and with finding the, these Orange Theory workouts for me, again, find what's good for you. Um, those workouts are so hard and so challenging that it makes me think twice about cheating and, you know, eating something bad that I shouldn't be because I don't want to work any harder to burn it off. And I certainly don't want to waste what I just did in the gym. Literal sweat. I've had literal tears in the gym. Um, happy tears. You know, usually it's, it's because I'm doing something that I haven't been able to do before and, and it's exciting, but find a workout that challenges you because it will help you keep uh, on track with your food. Number four, along with food, don't have a cheat day. Uh, it's a slippery slope. It's like a, a free for all that you can just go ahead and eat whatever you want to. I've had that before and then the next day I feel so crappy and my stomach hurts that then that leads to another day of bad eating. Pretty soon it's Saturday and you're like, well, I'll just start again on Monday. Um, I do not think that cheat days are a good idea. Absolutely have a cheat meal once a week. I definitely have something, you know, that I have once a week, um, you know, previously before I've been on my meal plan, which is pretty strict. But historically with losing weight, um, I love sandwiches. Sandwiches are like my big treat meal, as, as silly as it sounds. And in the very beginning, I would every Friday have my sandwich after I worked out at Curves, as silly as it sounds, but I was losing weight then, and I was still having the food that really meant something to me that I really enjoyed, and I didn't feel like I was denying myself of something. Um, also, make your cheat meal count. Don't waste it on something that you eat, and you're like, ugh, like, why did I even eat that? You know, you don't want to have regrets. 
um, use your cheat meal for something that you really like. Number five, don't compare yourselves to others. Um, you're going to see people that lost 100 pounds in six months. Maybe it took five years for them to lose 100 pounds. It doesn't matter what anyone else is doing around you as far as your timeline. Absolutely find inspiration and motivation from what other people are doing, but don't compare yourself to other people and be like, oh, I should be where so-and-so is at because look what they've done. You don't know what they have going on in their life. If their progress is a lot of photos versus videos, videos and, and things like that. You don't even know if it's real progress. So don't compare yourself to others. Obviously, yes, be inspired by them. Do not compare yourself. Number six, stay away from weight-related goals by a certain date. This is something that I have big time changed in 2016. I used to be that person that was like, I'm going to lose 30 pounds by my birthday. And then my birthday came and I was not down 30 pounds or, okay, I'm going to lose 20 pounds in the next four weeks and it's going to be great. And then, you know, your weeks go on and all of a sudden it's week three and you're like, well, I'm not going to hit my goal anyway. I might as well just, you know, not worry about it. Big, big, big mistake. And especially if you guys are um, on Instagram and you have a big following, it was really hard for me um, and a lot of extra pressure and a lot of extra stress when I would make those um, those goals. Like, okay, guys, I'm going to be to such and such by a certain date. It's like you don't know what's going to happen with life. You don't know what's going to happen on the scale. Don't set yourself up to fail. Obviously, yes, have weight-related goals to get to a certain goal, but don't set it by a certain date because I think for me it's at least worked better and it's kept me on track a little bit more just to realize, okay, this is my goal and I'm going to work hard every day to get to it, but I don't have to be there by a certain day or a certain time or a certain event. Um, I do think that that is going to set you up to fail. Number seven, make ultimate goals as as well as small goals. My ultimate goal, I have two. My first goal is to hit 199 because I've never weighed under 200 pounds and as an adult. My second ultimate goal is to hit 191 pounds because that will be 200 pounds less naturally. Um, other than that, I don't have a final goal. Um, I do probably want to end up at maybe like between 170, 180. I want to be fit, curvy, and healthy. I have no size that I want to get to. And again, other than 191, I have no weight that I want to get to. That being said, with hitting my lowest weight as an adult yesterday, every single ounce that I lose is going to be my lowest weight in, as an adult. So those are my little mini goals. Number eight, accept that not everyone's going to be happy for you. You're going to find more support and help potentially online than you will in your friends and family. And that's OK. They don't have to be happy for you. Number nine, if you slip up, start again on the next bite. Don't wait until Monday. Don't wait until the first of the month. Start immediately in that next meal. Drink some water. Get moving. Get back on track. And number 10, fight through when it gets hard. It is going to be hard if you fight through. I promise it's going to be worth it. I still struggle. It's not easy. Fight through. It'll be worth it. Good luck, you guys.